everybody, Chris Simmons here with CreateInsights.com. In this video, I want to talk about ideas for boosting video production profits today, as in right now. The first idea is find a way to add at least $200 to every proposal you write. You can write it in as a couple more hours of editing or add it to your day rate for a shoot. It doesn't really matter how you do it, just do it. I don't think I've ever lost a project because of a difference of $200. The other thing to consider is that you shouldn't be so transparent in your proposals. I don't typically show how many hours it's going to take me to edit a project anymore. I simply tell them that the edit fee is X number of dollars. This makes it easy to build some profit in there, or a lot of profit depending on what you're comfortable with. Remember, as an owner, you want profits on top of your salary. If you pad your budgets by $200 or more per video, you can add several thousand dollars to your bottom line each year. The second way is to renegotiate your fixed contracts such as cell phone, office phone, internet, etc. so that you can reduce the monthly expense as much as possible. Everyone is dying to keep customers these days, so use that to your advantage. I ate lunch with a guy today who was able to cut his monthly high-speed internet bill by $50 a month just by making a phone call and asking them what the best deal they could give him was. I was able to reduce my phone bill by a couple hundred bucks a month just by asking the question, what's the best deal you can give me? There are a lot of phone companies asking for my business, so I don't know what you can do to convince me to stay with you. That's $2,400 back to my bottom line each year. Remember that I'm giving you ideas on how to boost profits. Reducing expenses increases the amount of money you have left over at the end of each month. Don't ignore this. Sure, you can sell more. But in a down economy, it's a great strategy to focus on negotiating new terms that benefit you 100% so that when the economy gets strong again, you'll be making more money and spending less of it. Both working together results in fatter wallets. It's really a pretty awesome thing. The third way is don't include a lot of extras in your proposals. Having a lot of extras in the initial proposal drives cost up, which can drive customers away or leave room for your competition to bid lower than you. I recommend that you quote the shooting and editing part of a video and only include one copy of the DVD master. Then in your proposal, tell them that additional copies and or website files can be provided for an additional fee. Most of the time, they'll forget about the copies or the digital files until the project is complete. Then, when they're in a mad rush to distribute their video, they'll want or need you to make the copies. You quote them a reasonable yet on the higher side rate and they go with it because they are ready to get the videos into the marketplace. Plus, the duplication budget will almost always be treated as a separate cost than the original video, so it doesn't bother them to create another PO production order number that they can assign your duplication fees to. If you add duplication to the original PO number, red flags go off because they're having to increase the budget for the initial video project and that's usually never a good thing. It's not uncommon for me to generate an additional $500 to $5,000 in duplication or digital conversion fees within a week or two of completing a project because I treat production and distribution as two separate transactions. Keep in mind that everything I do is fair. The client is getting great value and customer service at every stage of the process and I'm still charging less than other high-end production companies in my area. Clients are willing to pay more and they should pay more when you're willing to turn quality work around fast. Don't forget that. 